Hello guys, welcome to Alumnadis Kitchen. Today I'm going to share you a recipe, a delicious recipe, pork sisig kapangpangan style. And I'm going to share you guys all the ingredients right now. Uh, we're going to have a pork liampo or side pork. And we're going to need pork ears. Of course, we're going to need also a chicken liver. Calamance, red and white onions. We also need a sweet butter unsalted. Of course, we have a toyomance. We have black pepper. And we're going to need also a garlic salt. For seasoning. Not captured on the video, all you guys need to do is get the uh, pork clam pole or side pork. Uh, you need to marinate it with the calamansi, the uh, garlic salt, the pepper, and saka yung toyo manzin and then um, I highly suggest to do it overnight. So like I said, you need to marinate your meat overnight with the uh, calamansi, toyomansi, together with the uh, garlic, salt, and the uh, black pepper. Uh, mix those together, marinate your meat uh, for 24 hours, and uh, put it in your fridge. And then early in the morning or afternoon, you take it out, then you grill na natin, as you guys can see sa ating pictures. Na uh, came out really really nice a picture na then uh, all we need to do the meat is already tender kasi na marinate na natin natin siya nang 24 hours and I will show you guys how I chopped it in small pieces para magmukha na siya ng pork sisig and that's going to be on the next video I will show you guys how I chopped it and all the ingredients um that's all you need to do and we are going to mix it and I'll show you how I cooked it uh, combining lahat ng ating ingredients. On this video, I will show you guys how I uh, already chopped all the meat and tie my ingredients as you guys can see. And I just want to give you guys a tip. Now, you know, you need to chop all your meats in same as much as you can same size para at least you know maging consistent yung ano nyo yung size ng meat natin uh, with together with the uh, pig ears at saka yung ating uh, chicken liver okay that's uh this is how i cut mine uh, i will show you next and how i'm going to cook it and put this all together ang yan ang ingredient natin ang ating uh, red uh, onions and the white and we have the uh, uh, pepper there we have some eggs and yan ng fresh squeeze uh, no, calamansi on and then we have the butter uh, I will show you guys next and how we will combine all these ingredients to make it the most and the best pork sisig that you guys will ever cook uh, say so in your uh, family okay let's go ahead and go to the stove and uh, let's start cooking all right guys here we go we're going to cook our pork sisig yung mga iba nagtataka bakit ko pa iluluto uli ang pork sisig when I chopped it it should be served that way ang sa akin po kasi I wanted it to be really authentic and uh, when I wanted to mix all the ingredients para yung lasa talagang magcombine and uh, that's why I cook mine hindi ko siya ginigisa sa garlic uh, all we are going to use is the onions uh, what we try to accomplish here is to get all the ingredients together I mix natin para at least uh, sa malaking uh, kawa or kawale para at least yung ano, mag-combine lahat ng ingredients. 
And also, you guys are probably wondering why I'm putting a scrambled eggs on my seasick. Um, it's something that I've been experimenting for uh, ever since I cook uh, uh, pork seasick. I've been putting a scrambled egg on mine, and lahat po ng naging uh, customers ko na who bought the uh, the pork seasick. They really liked it. It's an option. You don't need to put a um, scrambled egg in yours if you don't if you don't want to. This is just an option, you guys. Uh, but on mine, I put a scrambled egg. After I put the I put the scrambled egg, po ilalagay natin yung onions. We will combine natin and uh, of course, muna yung uh, ating sili to make it more uh, spicy. It depends on how spicy you want it. Uh, I put five uh, pepper there, in red pepper. Um, it wasn't too spicy, but kasi minsan, people like really spicy food. In second, I want it to be in the middle so I can, you know, serve both na sa king mga customers. Uh, yung hindi masyadong mahilig sa spicy food at least they can still taste a little bit of the spicy and tsaka yung mga mahilig sa mga spicy food yan po ang ginagawa natin ngayon is uh, parang kinumbine natin yung uh, pepper at tsaka yung onions and the next one we will going to uh, put na po yung lalagay na natin yung karne which is dalyampo uh, we're just gonna heat it up parang ganun lang yun and para at least makombine yung juice ng uh, liampo na minarinate natin ng 24 hours I'm just gonna mix this right now it will take a few minutes uh, mixing it and I will fast forward it then we'll after we mix these ingredients lalagay po natin yung pig ears at saka yung uh, chicken liver and then that's it it's all done ready to serve masarap na pork sisig kapangpangan style recipe i hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video and if you guys have any comments or questions uh, na hindi ko na cover dito sa ating video on how to make this pork sisig Please let me know down below. Uh, I'll be uh, happily uh, na mag-reply sa inyo right away as soon as I can. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Like I said, I hope um, uh, this uh, pork sisig na gagawin nyo, you will uh, serve, say, it's a serve you sa inyong family. I can guarantee it. They will love it. See you, Paul. Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. This is June Galura. And this is June Galura TV at Lumnadi's Kitchen. Thank you.